on the island of Sodor, and Douglas was pulling a freight train. He then noticed that there was a pile of logs on the tracks ahead. Then he knew what to do. Then Douglas slammed on his brakes. <laughs> then there was trouble. Douglas had come off the tracks and was stuck. A, late, a little later, Thomas came up and saw what happened. Are you okay, Douglas? I'm fine, laddie. Now get me back on the rails. Sure thing. Douglas was then sent set back on the tracks and shunted away by Thomas. Once Douglas had been pushed back to the junction, Thomas then set off back to the sheds. And then Douglas then slowly puffed away. As Douglas was speeding along the tracks, he saw Jack the front motor. Hey, Jack! Hey, Douglas! Douglas was traveling at very fast speeds to get to Matford in time. Then there was trouble. Rebecca's tender was at the edge of the junction ahead, and Douglas had to apply his brakes. Douglas then applied his brakes to stop. And then it happened. Douglas had yet crashed again. I like Lassie, what was your ye tender doing on the track? Sorry, Douglas, I wasn't paying attention. Well, if if it was an accident, well then I forgive you. But I'm going to be late now. Well, don't say that, Douglas, said a voice. It was the fat controller. Sir, I am so, so sorry, sir. It's all right, Douglas. You still made it to Natford with a few minutes to spare. Good job through, for persevering through those accidents. Thank you, sir. Now, Henry will shunt you to the works for you to be repaired. As the fat controller said, Douglas was shunted into the worksheds by Henry. Thank you so much, Henry. No problem, Douglas. It's for a good thing. And Henry puffed away. While Douglas was being repaired, he heard a rumbling sound. 